Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. I am your Venu Gopal. So as part of today's session, we will discuss more on packages in SAP. So as you are aware, most of the times whenever we create any object, be it a normal core map object such as table, view or even your data element, domain or even SC38 program. So ultimately, while saving an object, it will ask for us to save under a package. Generally, either we will give the package which is already existed or else we can also save under a local package called $TMP. Likewise, if at all you are a BW consultant, again, when we create our info object DSO, ADSO, cube, multi provider, composite provider, any technical object or even any configuration, we have to capture under a transport. Before capturing under a transport, we have to save that under a particular package. If it is saved under a if the object is going to be saved as a local object, so it won't ask you or give a prompt to save under a transport, correct? Whereas, if at all, there is a need for you to capture that object, whatever the object which you have developed or modified and wanted to move across the landscape, that is starting from development to quality, quality to pre-prod, in that case, we may have to capture that under an existing package instead of $TMP. Right? So as part of today's session, what we will be doing is, uh, we will see how can we create our own package. It is a very simple step, but it is very important step because most of you might have started career recently or might have worked uh, on different uh, ABAP or BW project or even as a functional consultant. Uh, so you might be using the existing package. But now we will focus today on how can we create a simple package of our own and how can we make use of that package to capture an object. Okay guys, let's start today's session. So we can compare the package, the SAP package as a folder, under folder you can have multiple files right package is used to group an object okay for example in your company you wanted to group uh, the object related to fi area under a package similarly hr area under a package similarly hd area under a package you can do that as a bw consultant you wanted to have a package a generalized global package wherein you wanted to capture an object uh, which you wanted to move across the landscape right so you can correlate package as a folder which is used to group an object so let us get into the system and try to see how can we create a package I am logging into my remote desktop so the same procedure what we are going to discuss right the same can be achieved even at a SAP ECC side or BW side SAP CRM or SRM any SAP system okay so I am logging to my SAP ECC system So there's a T code called SC21, okay? You have to go to SC21 transaction code and uh, it is the T code to build a package or it's a package builder T code wherein you can create a package. So when you go to SC24 transaction code, SC21 transaction code, you can see SC21 transaction code and it says package builder. Here you have to choose the radio button called package. There you have to enter your package name, ZVNU package. I'm giving the name as ZVNU package. So you can give any meaningful name, okay? Click on create. Okay, when you click on create, there will be a pop-up window appears, wherein if you see over here, the short description is the mandatory column, rest of the things are optional. Okay, so. I learn SAP with Venu package. We are just creating a package and click on OK. When you click on OK, obviously, since it's a package, obviously, we have to move this package across the landscape. You see over here, it is also asking me to capture that package, what we have created uh, under a transport. I don't want to use this uh, transport. What I will do, I will click on create new transport. Then I enter the TR description. Now the new TR is created. I'm going to capture the newly created package under this transport. All you have to do is save, that's it. So now package is ready. What is the package name? ZVNU underscore package. So now let us try to 
create a simple ABAP program from SC38 and try to capture that object under this package. Okay. Okay, click on create. There will be a pop-up window up here. I am going to enter a test test program and type I am choosing executable object. I am for the demo purpose, I am creating a program. You can create a uh, your actual uh, in development project, what you will be doing, you might be creating any ABAP object or any BW object, for example, info object DSO cube. The procedure is same. So now I am in the process of creation of a program. When I click on save, see now there will be a pop up window wherein it will ask us to save an object. Okay, it is asking us to save this particular program under a package. If I click on local object, what will happen? It will store under a dollar temp package. Instead of that, what I will do? Just now we have created a package, correct? I will enter that package. You can also search that package by using this value help button. Click on save. See, now this program, what we are going to create just now is going to store under this package. So what we'll be doing when I click on okay, so the program is associated with the package. Since it is associated with a package, it is also asking me to capture under a transport. Got it, guys? This is how when you create any ABAP or BW or SRM or CRM object in SAP. So when you associate that object with a package, you can capture that pack object, be it a program, be it a table, be it info object or DSO or even IDOCS under a transport. Clear guys? This is how you can create a package in your ECC system. At the same time, if you want to do the same thing in your BW system, what you have to do? I'm logging off from my ECC system. Let me log into BW system. The procedure is same. There is no difference in the procedure. All you have to do is go to SC21. I'm going to SC21 in my BW system. Zvenu underscore package BW. I'm clicking on create button. I'm creating a package called iLearn SAP with Venu BW package. All you have to do is click on OK. When you click on OK, it is asking you to save under a transport. If you are fine with this transport, you can go ahead and choose that. Otherwise, you can create a new transport. Okay. My package is ready in my BW system. Now I wanted to capture a DSO or info object which I have already created in the system under this package or else if at all you are going to create a new object, how can we save that under this package? Let us see that. Let me quickly create one of the info object uh, or even SC38 program also. Since I am in BW, I will give a demo of how to create a simple info object. So I am going under info. I am going under RSA1 and info object tab. Let me go to any of the existing info area and create info object. So I am creating an info object. Customer number. Okay, it's of type character and I'm just saving this as 10. That's it. I'm creating an or saving an object. But generally what happens in BW, you might have already noticed when you create an info object or DSO, by default it will go and store in dollar TMP. But how can I capture that object under a transport? Now by default, uh, what I said, the BW object might go and save under a local package, correct? So what you have to do? from the go to menu or from the options menu, right under extras, you have something called object directory entry. Okay. When you click on info object, see in the pop-up window, the package, when I save this info object, it's saved under which package dollar TMP package. Edit that. And now you can enter your package name. When you enter your package name and click on save, what will happen? It will prompt you to capture this info object under a transport. So this is how you can also capture an object under a transport. Without package, you cannot directly go and capture under a transport. Package will help us to group an object at the same time, whatever the new object which you are going to save under a package will let you to also capture an object under a transport request. Clear guys? Hopefully, as part of this video, you guys got to know about uh, what exactly is the package in SAP? It can be ECC, BW, SRM, CRM. Every place the um, concept remains same. We got to know how can we create a package. We also saw how can we capture an object under a transport. 
So, if you have any specific doubt related to SAP, it can be SAP ECC CRM SRM or even CRM, you can always reach out to me on my mail ID that is venugopal mn 1988 gmail.com. Also, if at all you are looking for training on SAP ABAP, app, BW, BW ABAP, BW on HANA, Native HANA and HANA related SQL, feel free to reach out to me on my mail id that is venugopal mn 1988 gmail.com. You can also call me on my mobile number that is plus 91 followed by 973998 3992. Thank you so much and have a good one guys.